the Siemens Zetrans FC430, a groundbreaking Coriolis flow meter. The precision of each detail and its compact form make the Zetrans FC430 a small technical revolution. A multi-parameter measuring instrument with the highest degree of reliability. Start by making sure that the order number and serial number match. The technical innovation includes installation in three simple steps. Installation of the sensor, installation of the transmitter, and finally, the wiring. Start the installation video using the QR code on the sensor. The Zetrans FC430 is the most compact sensor worldwide and requires very little installation space. It works in any mounting position. Siemens recommends one of the following. For vertical installation with upwards flow, the pipe is constantly filled, avoiding bubble formation. This mounting position is also self-draining. For liquid applications, we recommend a horizontal mounting position with the inner pipes of the sensor facing downwards. For applications involving gases, we recommend a horizontal mounting position with the pipes facing upwards. Pay attention to the direction of the flow. An arrow on the sensor indicates the calibrated flow direction. To make installation easier, use a pipe support to position the Zetrans FC430. First, insert the bottom bolts. This ensures that the gasket is properly positioned. Then, insert the top bolts and tighten the nuts evenly. Repeat the process at the other end. Then, remove the pipe support. Finally, check that everything is correctly connected. The sensor is now mounted. The label on the Zetrans FC430 lists the technical specifications. Allow the respective medium to flow through the sensor with no more than 1.5 times the rated pressure. The transmitter can be mounted on a wall as well as on a pipe. For wall mounting, mark the pre-drilled holes of the bracket on the mounting surface. After drilling, the bracket and the cushion pad can be mounted. To mount the transmitter on a pipe, the bracket and the cushion pad are installed with U-bolts and the supplied pipe adapter. Fasten everything together firmly. Now, remove the nut at the end of the bracket to mount the transmitter. Ensure that it is correctly positioned and then tighten the nut firmly. In compact configuration, the transmitter can be rotated horizontally. To do this, simply loosen the lock screw. In remote configuration, vertical rotation is also possible. Loosen the locking cap on the bracket slightly. The transmitter can then be rotated in increments of 15 degrees. The display of the transmitter can be rotated in increments of 30 degrees. Loosen the lid lock screw and remove the display cover. Carefully pull out the display, rotate it to the desired position and gently push it back into place. Now, screw the cover back on and make sure that the ring is properly positioned. Finally, tighten the lid lock screw again. In the final step, the Zetrans FC430 is wired. This involves connecting the sensor to the remote transmitter, preparing the transmitter connections, establishing a power supply and heart connection, and finally, setting up a transmitter connection. 
Plug and Play Connection makes remote configuration very easy. Use the supplied four-wire cable and M12 connector to connect the sensor and transmitter. Remove the blind plugs and install the cable glands where needed. Loosen the lid lock screw on the cover. A small diagram on the back shows the terminal assignment. The power supply connection can now be made. Use the supplied Wago wiring tool to do this. Open the electrical cover, push the cable through the cable gland and prepare the wiring. The diagram inside the cover shows the correct connection. The ground wire is clamped to the frame. The line and neutral wires are connected using the wiring tool. Finally, close the protective cover of the power supply connection. To make the heart connection, the cable is pushed through the appropriate cable path. Prepare the cable. The diagram in the cover shows the correct connection here as well. Make the connection with the wiring tool and fasten the cable to the terminal plate. Then replace the cover. Make sure that the O-ring is properly positioned. Tighten the locking screws and cable glands. Finally, check each cable to ensure that the connections are clean and solid. Screw the blind plugs into any empty cable inlets. Check that the O-ring of the display is correctly positioned. Make sure no moisture can get inside the electronics housing. You can use a drip loop to prevent water droplets from penetrating the cable inlet. The Zetrans FC430 is now ready for operation. If you have any questions about the installation, please contact your local Siemens customer service. The Siemens Zetrans FC430, designed for excellence.